What is up guys? Welcome back. We are out here on the we're on the Satilla River, right? We're on the Satilla River. We're out here pan fishing for roosters. We're using the three and a half horsepower motor on here because apparently the 18 horsepower just uh pull cord. I'm too strong for it. Just destroyed it. It was it was brutal. It was a massacre. Charles already got on uh on one nice size bluegill, but he threw it back because he's a communist. All right, folks, so that right there is a red-breasted brim, right? Red-breasted sunfish. Sunfish, my apologies. There we go. That's what we're looking for, but we're looking for a lot bigger. Once they get big enough, I guess they're considered roosters is, is the common slang for them here. Was that, a bluegill? That is a big one. In the most random of spots, just we saw this little, this little shadow. He's in the cooler. Oh, here we have the elusive uh, stickfish. Oh, what a big stickfish. Don't catch them off, kids. Oh, it got off, it got off. Aw, oh, dang. That looked like it could have been a state record. A state record when I hooked one back in down. Always release the stickfish. They're endangered. All right, guys, you see that line going in the water right there? That's called a set line. And I, I love doing set lines because it's lazy fishing, but you gotta make sure to bring them back. That one's obviously been there for a long, long time. And it looks like all of it is still in the water over there because there are sticks and stuff built up on it. It's not good for the area. That's a jug. It goes to a line. And it's all tangled up down here. And that's the hook. They left it all there to go. So we're gonna get these out of the water before we go. Just Love doing that fishing, just make sure to clean up after yourself. That right there is what we're looking for. Big old rooster. They get bigger than this. Yeah, they get about the size of the ones we were catching at uh, on the last video. Yeah. Yeah. He's spawning. Stop spawning on me. <laughs> Bolton. Bolton got spawned on. Looky there, with another one. Old boy. He's gotten four so far, I'm stuck with one and it wasn't even a keeper. He looks about keeper size. There you go, right there, that's the catch of the day. <laughs> Is that one a keeper? <laughs> so legally we can keep it, right? Because there's no size limit. And what is it, 50 per person? Legally we can have 100 fish in the boat. Of any size, as long as they're pan fish, not crappie. Well guys, I uh, I caught one. I'm, I'm not sure if I want to show it on camera. It's, an, it's a catfish. Probably the smallest catfish I've ever caught in my life. So I just caught I just caught the smallest catfish here, and then uh, Fulton had to one up me and catch the smallest panfish. I can't have anything. So remember when I said Charlie caught the smallest uh, panfish? Yeah, I was I was wrong. They get smaller. Any, how do you uh, tell a stump knocker from a red breast from a shell cracker? Well, it's interesting you ask. This is really easy. Stump knockers they have little black spots on the side of them. <sighs> Can you? Let me see this little filler. <sighs> they got these little black spots. Yeah. Those little blackish brownish. Looks like blackheads on them. Yep. Yep. So that's how you tell it's a stump knocker. That's how you tell it's a stump knocker. And then a bluegill has blue on its gills, and a shell cracker has a red dot behind the black dot on its gill plate. Yep. Ah. <sighs> There's so many brown. Hey guys, only got like two more videos, so. <laughs> After this one, y'all better throw up some ideas because I'm going to be gone. I'm going to North Carolina and y'all stay in Nashville. Let me know because I need some help around there. I don't know where I'm going. What you think? I don't know if he's a keeper. Uh. Fun fact about bluegill, when they start spawning, they turn purple. I don't know if you can see it, but that is definitely purple, almost violet. Oh, just got another wonderful little guy. He's a little small. We're going to leave him. That way we can come back next year and get a nice, uh, 
a nice bag full. Or I guess he wants to stay. There's a good one. Would you classify that one as a rooster? Uh, a small rooster or just not big enough? Rooster. Okay, we'll call Good. They got the dark top, the uh, blue middle, and a nice red bottom. And those is blue stripes on the face. It's really cool. All right, guys, so that is an American eel. They're gross. I don't like touching them because they leave a sticky residue on your fingers that just lasts for the rest of the fishing trip. Uh, a lot of people smoke these. Yes, they do. But I don't want anything to do with it. So we're just going to release him, mostly unharmed. We still got to get the, the hook out and uh, try to get back on the roosters. It's blind in one eye. Oh. I was mistaken. It is not. Oh, the battery. This is what we out. came out here for. Not this one exactly, but isn't that you a know what? He still eats. So we caught a lot of roosters. If you didn't know what a rooster was before, now you do. It's just a, a red-breasted uh, brim. Here coming up soon. Hopefully, we'll do a lot more um, trapping and uh, set lines and trot lines and all that line running, pretty much for catfish and. Uh, well, there's not beavers down here, but there's coyotes, and coyotes share the same territory as hogs. If you accidentally trap a hog, you're not allowed to, I mean, you gotta kill it, because for one, it's invasive, for two, you can't safely release a hog from a trap. So, there you go. Hopefully we get some more of that in. I'm still trying to clear out the details, get all the rules in, and kind of spread this out more than just a bass fishing channel, because this is an all-around outdoors channel, and hopefully we can get on that and teach you guys how to trap for hog because you can't hunt hog right now you can only trap hog in south georgia how to butcher and all that so if you guys want to learn how to do some more of that stuff go ahead and leave a comment of what you want down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh if you did go down there and smash that like button and while you're down there go over there and hit that subscribe button that way you're at least entered in the current giveaway and i will see you guys next time i post